In this video, I'm going to show you the different phrase styles you can do with Quantaloop. Hey guys, this is JP from John Paul Music UK. If you've never been here before, my channel is all about music tech and looping. If you like the content of this video, give it a big thumbs up. That really helps the channel grow. And please consider subscribing to the channel as well. So Quantaloop is a really, really clever app, and it's got a couple of tricks up its sleeve. And the one thing I want to show you is the different ways you can change the phrasing. So the first one, if we go to phrase, is parallel. So parallel, what that does is all the tracks can be played at the same time. So therefore, So there we go. That is uh, parallel mode. And so parallel can be just all the select all the different tracks at the same time. So the next one is serial mode. So serial mode is one track at a time. So this is a perfect example of if you wanted to have one track as the verse, the next track as the chorus, the next track as the bridge. I'm going to use the same recordings and I'm going to show you what this means. I can't select track one, two, three, four together. As soon as I select the next one, it jumps over. And that is serial mode. So what that means is it's literally playing in serial. So you can have obviously a verse, a chorus, a bridge, something else as well. So the next mode is serial master. Now serial master is basically serial mode, but track one can be played as well. This is really, really handy. So you can create a beat on track one and then track two, track three, track four can be the verse, chorus and the bridge. This means that the beat keeps on going and also you don't have to recreate it every time. For this one, I'm gonna show you this really, really quickly. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go and delete this and make something completely different. So you can see there very quickly that track one just keeps playing and then track two, track three, and even track four then become optional. So this is a really nice way of keeping the beat going, but at the same time selecting like a reverse, a chorus, and a bridge. Now the other one is custom. So define a custom playing style by assigning each track to the song part and the track setting. You do that actually in the edit mode there. So you can actually change it along if you want to. Now this is global for me, so I don't usually normally use custom mode. Um, but the other thing you can do, which I quite like on this is you can also say change parts instantly. So that means that instead of actually then waiting for bar one to go across, what it'll do is it'll change as soon as you hit it. So that's really, really useful. I just just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of the different play styles so you've got parallel you've got serial and you've got serial master if you found this content useful please give it a big old thumbs up that really helps the channel grow and if you want to learn more about music tech and looping start now by hitting the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one